In this demonstration, we're going to look at using name parameters with a sketch to drive a parametric solid. I'm going to open an existing model using the backstage view of PowerShell 2018. Here we have a very simple solid, just an extrusion of the profile of a V block. If you open the parameters dialog, you'll see that we currently have three parameters that we can use, X, Y, and Z, for the dimensions of the block itself. I'm going to quickly create two new parameters. The first one is going to be called slot, and this is going to be the width, depth, and height of the slot feature that you see down the right hand side of the part and a second value which is going to be called offset and this is the distance in Z from the bottom of the block to the bottom of the slot. We can now double click on the solid, right click, open the parameters dialog and say the length of that, that block wants to be the value of block Z. While I have this dialog open, I can go straight in and say I want to edit the sketch. You see the sketch has already been fully constrained and it has also been partially dimensioned. Click on wireframe, I'm going to add two new dimensions. The first is going to be the width across the bottom. Click on the dimension itself, right click in the dialog box, and this is going to be the value of block X. So you can see that updates, and the name of the parameter gets inserted into the box. Create a second parameter, or second dimension. And this is going to be block Y. We can now edit some existing dimensions. So click on the dimension, right click to open the parameter form. This is going to be the offset value. Do something very similar with this one. This one is going to be the slot width and depth. Now the one at the top is actually going to be a mathematical formula based off that slot dimension. That slot multiplied by 1.5. When I have everything parameterized as I want, I can accept the changes. Now I can go back to the Home tab, click on the Parameters dialog, change the X value, to 120, apply that change and the block changes its width, come into the offset value, change that to 5 and the vertical position of the slot will change. And if I change the value of slot itself that's going to change two different sets of values on the solid, the height and width of the slot and also the width of this land at the top.